What's up, internet friends? Lyle from Stone Glacier. Uh, my favorite season's coming up, shed season. And uh, last year I showed you some of the things I carried with me on my day rips when I'm go shed hunting. This year I'm gonna show you how I attach uh, elk horns to a Stone Glacier backpack. So this is the Evo bag and I'm using the Evo frame. Uh, on the side of this I have uh, my uh, spotty scope tripod. So I'll show you what I do. So normally uh, when I'm out there, there's a couple different options. So you can do this with electrical tape or you can do it with these straps. But basically horns wanna slide around a lot. And so uh, what I found is that if you can make these guys as stable as possible before you put them on the pack, it's definitely uh, a lot easier to haul them out and you don't get as much sway uh, in your pack. So you can do this with electrical tape. Uh, works pretty good, uh, pretty lightweight. But the issue with wrapping the horns with electrical tape and making them tight is if you find another horn, you have to electrical tape it on or you have to take it off or whatever. So it's just not always super practical. So uh, a while back, um, I started using these Titan straps. So these work really good. So I normally carry uh, basically four of these. I carry these two shorter ones and then there's these longer ones as well. So when you start to really find a lot of horns, these are kind of nice too. So what I'll do with these is basically just take the strap and find a spot where the horns kind of want to sit and just tighten that sucker down. And I'll come down here as well and tighten this. Same, same. And just get that slug down. Once I... So, don't let it beat you. Smooth as butter. All right, so once you get those on there, uh, basically you can see these are gonna be a lot tighter together. And that's just gonna make it ride a lot easier. They're not gonna slop around and flop around so much. So then on my bag, what I do is I make a couple of small modifications. So our bags will come with just kind of standard uh, one inch male and female buckles, but we do offer uh, the auto lock buckles as well. So if you're gonna put anything that's kind of hard on your bag, um, horns, guns, things like that. It's kind of nice to have those buckles. So we sell those um, individually. So you can pick those up on the website. So what I do is I just replace uh, the face and then the sides with those as well. Normally what I do is I just take those off and I would loosen these up like so. And then I'll take my sheds. And what I like to do is kind of get them into a spot where they kind of feel like they want to lay flat. Um, and then I want to make sure too that when I put this first strap on that it's going to be, you know, below uh, this G1 or G2 on here. So that way um, when you tighten it up, if it does slide down at all, it's going to slide down and catch. So what I do then is just basically take it and you can see these auto lock buckles really tighten up and just really reef on that to get it down. And the same thing, I try to go underneath a tine here so that if it does, ever want to shift or anything like that, it'll be super tight. So we'll go ahead and lock this down. See? All right, so you can see those are on there pretty good. I always too like look at the horn, like I mean, they obviously naturally have some swoop to them. So I always try to swoop those out. So if you go the other way, they just end up hitting you in the back of the legs and stuff when you're hiking all day. So that's a pretty good system. So if I ended up getting another horn uh, on a trip, then I would just take the strap off, strap it back down again, and uh, put it on the bag in the same fashion. But you can see this buckle is right over the top of this horn, still staying super tight. You actually get a little tighter, but yeah, it doesn't want to shake out or anything like that. So. So yeah, that's how you attach uh, elk sheds onto a stone glacier pack. As always, if you have any questions, uh, we're here to help.